The documentary film Citizen Coke about the uprising in Wisconsin over collective bargaining and the right to work legislation was produced, say the filmmakers, with an understanding it would have a path to air on public broadcasting affiliates around the country. But the New York PBS affiliate WNET counted among its board members one David Koch. Koch is a name well known in the political universe. Concerned by the station led it to contact a production agency. That would be the Independent Television Service, or ITVS, as we say here, and, and say it wouldn't air the film. Now, the producers say ITVS has scuttled support and the documentary is left without the promise of a national PBS audience as the production is not being offered to PBS affiliates like ours here in New Mexico PBS. Laura, kind of a long story, but the, was the board in New York and maybe even ITVS, were they in essence too deferential to a certain trustee who was about to write a giant check and money is hard to come by these days, you know, in PBS world as other places as well. Was there too much of a lean here? Was it too deferential in your point of view? Well, they were about to write, he was about to possibly write a check, but he'd also written quite yeah. a lot of checks in the past for this. So he sat on the board. That's right. I think, you know, I'm, I'm not as quick to say yes or no on that question, only because I think this issue um, is a good example of why it's important to have more public support mm. of PBS stations. Until, you know, at this point we're seeing 12% federal funding right. of PBS stations. Right. Um, if we don't increase that and if it continues to decrease, then we're going to have to see private fundraising happening. Mm -hmm. And in this case, that particular station had to rely on private donations. Mm -hmm. Now, it's hard for any organization, and I think we have a lot of nonprofits here in New Mexico mm -hmm. in this situation. It's very difficult for any nonprofit to function without some high dollar donors. That's right. When you have high dollar donors on your board and you're starting to do something that affects them potentially, that is about them, as, as in this case, you're in a hard spot. Mm -hmm. You either make a decision to run with it or you make a decision not to. And when you don't, it means you're essentially mm -hmm. deferring to your to your trustees. Mm -hmm. um, that to me puts into question though whether they're an actual independent um, reporter. Mm -hmm. I mean, are they actually able to function as an independent reporting agency? Mm -hmm. And I think the bigger question is, are any is any PBS station able to, if they're not able to um, rely on another source of funding, which used to be federal funding, mm -hmm. where it would be a lot more independent? Mm -hmm. Um, now, that's going to be a constant problem, I think, and sure. we're going to see a lot of examples of that. Sure, so Marisa, did they, I, they probably did rely a lot on or, or give deferen, deference mm -hmm. to Coke. Mm -hmm. Should they have, I think, is a different question and a bigger issue about funding. Interesting. I'm glad you tied that up that way. Marisa, you know, it's interesting, that separation, you know, a lot of boards, Laura mentioned, you, you pay your way in. Right? You pay your way into the board. Or you're expected to raise money for that organization. That's why you're there. So that separation of the talent of the trustee or the board member and their ability to either write a check or raise money completely separate from editorial. Have we crossed a line here where that's just not going to be possible anymore as Laura's uh, starting to allude to? Or did WNAT just kind of muddy the water on their own here? I, I absolutely think that WNET went too far in airing the sort of like, we're very disappointed in this documentary statement from Coke after the Park Avenue was aired. Right. Um, and that that's was kind the of first. like, I think the filmmaker likened it to uh, tacking letters to the editor onto the end of a, of a news feature story. Right. Just, just interrupt for a quick sec, that part, there were two different things there, the Park Avenue Park piece. Avenue Go ahead and explain film. that. Okay. Th we were talking about that second one as his. So as there well. was an initial film that did air on mm -hmm. WNET, which was called Park Avenue, which focused on a very ritzy apartment complex in Manhattan mm -hmm. that um, contained this, probably some of the city's most wealthy people, including David Koch. Mm -hmm. And some of what was in that documentary was critical of Koch. And um, so there was initially some debate about whether they were going to air this. The president of WNET called David Koch, who was on their board, mm -hmm. and gave him a heads up that it was going to happen. And uh, there was a statement issued by Koch um, you know, saying that they were disappointed with the film. And so they, they ran the film without um, censoring it, but at the end they tacked on this little, this little statement, which is, is very unusual uh, journalistically to do something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so and Chuck Schumer, Senator Schumer got a, a bit in there as well at the end. He got right. to say his bit because they were not happy about how they portrayed his, his support for a certain piece of legislation. Right. Yeah. So that, I mean, so that was, struck me it as... Was, it was normal that they let this happen. We've heard that it is common that PBS allows folks to come in and make a statement, mm -hmm. and that's what they did here. So this mm -hmm. wasn't just David Koch. I mean, Chuck Schumer, who's a no conservative juggernaut, sure. was given the same and opportunity. That may, you may be right on WNET's 
behalf. They may do that. I'm not quite sure if the rest of PBS follows that exact track, but we'll get Sorry. to that in a quick sec. That's okay. That's okay. So then after this film aired, there had been a second film in the works going through ITVS, mm -hmm. which um, handles the funding of some of these documentaries and decides what it's going to pitch to PBS. That's how I'm, I'm reading the sure. report. Yep. Um, and this film was called Citizen Coke, which was um, a lot about the Citizens United decision and money's influence in politics and spotlighted Coke again. Mm -hmm. um, so this film, they had agreed to fund the film, uh, ITVS did, and then after all of this happened about the Park Avenue film, they, uh, they opted to back out of the project after a lot of right. back and forth. Right. And so those filmmakers are saying essentially that they were censored mm -hmm. because of because of how mm -hmm. this all went down. Well, let me ask you a question, and, and thank you for that, that summary. That actually uh, was quite well done there because, you know, it's okay to do a, a film about a controversial subject, a public figure. That's no problem. I don't think anybody would have a problem with that. But if you're going to black out a guy that's a doorman complaining about how cheap David Koch is, yeah. and you're going to poke the bear, I, don't you think there's like a... <laughs> of all of the things, mm -hmm. all of the societal issues that you know, PBS could be covering on, of all the important things that are going on in this world, mm -hmm. why on earth would anybody ever have any interest in funding a project that takes a personal shot? A personal shot. I mean, they were in his apartment, they were talking to his butler, somebody who has done so much to support the process that he is doing. He's giving money to public television mm -hmm. so that they can go out and report, and then they turn around and fund a film that's nothing but personal nasty shots in his free apartment. Mm -hmm. I found the whole thing very offensive. I don't know what happened between the television station and PBS, um, but if they did anything to shut the project down, I say more power to them. All the people who have, like you said, everybody should get involved and, and fund public. I feel the same way about you know political campaigns. It's all the people who don't reach in and give two or three bucks to a candidate, but then complain about their choice of candidates. I, you know, I, 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 I appreciate what PBS did on this. Sure. Let me get Dan in here. Go ahead. Well, I, I just, I guess, you know, I think what's interesting is we're really talking about the Citizen Coke deal. Sure. Because the other one, the Park Avenue one aired. Yeah. How many people here saw Citizen Coke? How many people? Do you mean the Park yeah, Avenue yeah, one? No, Park the Avenue Citizen one. Coke one. How many have seen it? Nobody. Has. Nobody. Exactly. Nobody so has seen it. we don't know what it looked like, and yet we're taking a stance. What if this thing is the most horrific, lie-filled propaganda? We don't know. So they could be saying it's been, it's been on the film they, festival they, circuit. That's right. Limited audience. Have you seen Granted, it? Granted, right. I, no, I I mean, have you seen it? Not, none of the film festivals here. Have none of us have seen it. So yeah. I mean, I think that you know, I think we're learning with things that happened today mm -hmm. that you know, we probably should not take a stance on things we really don't know much about. And I don't think we know anything about but this. Didn't movie. the Coke, I, he released a statement, he had not even seen it himself and released a statement, uh, Mr. Coke, so. Yeah, and he probably didn't know? participate in it, so to call it a documentary to me is just an incredible I just, lie I, right I just there. think, I think the twisting that we're doing here, Gene, mm -hmm. what, what I find problematic is this story is not about some guys that went out with a camera and are trying to poke at the Coke brothers. They're taking a side. This is a politically initiative film that they're making here. They're clearly choosing a side in this fight mm -hmm. because there's, for as many conservative business owners that are given money, there's union leaders given money. Sure. But that's not what they're portraying from what I understand. Gotcha. And so for him to make a comment, mm -hmm. I think that, I think that it, for these guys to stand up and say, you've given us millions of dollars, mm -hmm. these guys, just like Michael Moore, go find someone to fund it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be these guys. Mm -hmm. I think the reason is that they're crying is because they can't find anybody else to step up to fund it. It's not that good. There's other deal. opportunities out there, as they say. I'm going to hold you there, Maurice. I know we could go all night on this one. It's a goodie. <laughs> but we're back in a moment with our American Graduate Series.